resume debate on uh, Article 8 of the Draft Commissioner for Children and Young People uh, Law as uh, Article 8 is amended. Does any other member wish to speak? Uh, Dr Higgins. Thank you, sir. This particular law, to my mind, is one of the most important ones that we're having to bring to the Assembly. And we've got to bear in mind, and this is for the benefit of the new members, it came about because of the Independent Jersey Care Inquiry and the abuses that have gone on for decades in the child care system, which were outlined in their report. And for those who haven't seen it, this is it. And you should read it because we can't forget what went on in this island and so on. So what I'm trying to say is, although I'm supportive of the law and the Children's Commissioner, I do have reservations about Article 8, although I should be supporting it today. My reason for that is that I believe the Commissioner is going to have full powers. And the reason why is we cannot allow abuse to go on again. And equally, there are many issues that still need to be addressed from this care inquiry report. Now, I know our current Attorney General is an honourable man, and I hope that he'll follow the uh, protocol and so on. But in the past, as evidenced in the care inquiry report, one previous Attorney General did not report child abuse, and in fact, helped, well, I say helped, uh, went to the director of education and asked him to deal with a youth worker who was abusing boys. Didn't go to the police, and yet this is the attorney general. He should have drawn the matter to the attention of the police. His argument was that it should not. Um, he did not want to involve the police because the person concerned did not want the police involved. I raise this because as the chief law officer, effectively, it should have been referred to the police because that particular person, although he was removed from Jersey, went on to abuse other boys. And had the police been involved, that may not have happened. To so, the, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Would, would, would you like just to reflect on what you've just said? Yes, sir. Uh, because this is a, a... Make it clear it's not me as uh, the previous Attorney General. It is not, sir. But the occasion that uh, I was uh, aware of was one where, following a police investigation, the Attorney General um, had prosecuted and then deliberately brought the attention, uh, brought to the attention of the Education Committee uh, the issues which had been raised by that investigation. So it was actually quite the reverse of what you've just said. And I just wondered whether you wanted to reflect carefully uh, on so, what you've just said. In fact, in that case, yes, I, I will actually give a bit more information. In fact, I'll quote from the Care Inquiry Report, page, I think, 29, uh, paragraph 113. And this is the Director of Education of the Island at the time, John Rodhouse. He said, I cite these examples to show that when I've been made aware of allegations of abuse or inappropriate behavior, I've taken such reports very seriously and taken action. There was, however, one instance about which I feel very uncomfortable. It concerned a volunteer youth worker, and he says, the then Attorney General, Philip Balash, called me to tell me that a named volunteer youth worker had acted improperly with a boy the boy's father was, and it's redacted, and did not want to involve the police. Philip Balash wanted me to investigate and take action. I protested that it was a matter for the police, but Philip Balash said that the parents would not cooperate and that if I did not act, nothing would happen. I interviewed the man who admitted the offence, and with the help of the youth officer, the man was effectively removed from all youth work in Jersey. As far as I was concerned, I was caught between the legal authority of the island in the person of the Attorney General and what I believed to be my professional and moral duty. I have since learned that the man was some time later convicted of a similar offence and subsequently faced a further charge. Uh, Deputy, I'm sorry to have interrupted you. I'm glad, glad you uh, clarified that. There are numbers of previous Attorney General and it's right that you should have done. Yes, thank you, sir. So uh, all I'm saying is that we have to take in fact, to go back to the former Chief Minister's comments, we have to be vigilant. There is no doubt in my mind, and it came out quite clearly in the report, that there were cover-ups in the past. And we cannot allow cover-ups to continue. So we've all got to be vigilant and make sure that, first of all, that the uh, Children's Commissioner has full powers and that we bring everyone to book who's been guilty of these offences. And therefore, I will say that, yes, I'm supporting this, but I will be coming back to the Assembly if I feel at any stage that people are not doing their job properly. 
and that includes the Attorney General. Anyway, thank you, sir. Deputy Higgins. Thank you, sir. I'd just like to say that um, this particular piece of legislation is exceptionally important, but it shouldn't stop there. I came into the States in 2008, and again, like Deputy Taddeo, was one of those who was arguing for the independent care inquiry. And we had tremendous battles in this House, that um, tremendous opposition to any investigation. And yet the care inquiry has proved beyond all doubt that abuse took place and cover-ups took place. And one of the things, that, one of the reasons I say it's unfinished business is the fact, if I ask all members to look at uh, written question 19, uh, that uh, was given today from the Home Affairs Minister. I asked about how many people have been investigated and prosecuted since the care inquiry based on evidence that was given in the care inquiry. Now, there was um, a number of people, and uh, there were allegations of a person being a serial rapist. There was another one where at least 12 people talked about a person committing sodomy and rape. Uh, there was another person who was referred to as the pinball wizard. And I attended many of the sessions of the care inquiry, and there was sufficient information given out there that those people should have been pursued. And I find it scandalous that, for example, the pinball wizard, when even members of staff of the institution concerned confirmed what the children said, that they'd been bounced off the walls of the office. This is absolutely outrageous, and we will never put this matter behind us and get the support of the people who have been abused unless we address these issues and bring these people to book. So I ask members, please, support measures going forward. Let's make sure we deal with this once and for all. And no one is above the law. And there are certain people who have been and appear to be protected, and they should not be. Thank you, sir.